So the millennial way of talking that tries to put a question on the end of every fucking yeah. sentence. Oh, you talking about like talking like this? Yes. Like right it's fucking insane. You could do it better than I can, man. I tried. I'm like, okay, is it that weird lilt like we get in the South where they try to make it into a question at the end? So before we were talking, I was trying to see if I could do it. You know, I'd really like to go and get an ice cream, but I'm not sure if you know, see, I'm saying not sure they have to say they'll make declarative statements and they turn them to a question at the end. And I can't fucking imitate it. Right. But every motherfucker watching this knows what I'm talking about. Essentially, what it is, is that they're so gutless and cowardly in the face of their hive collectivization that any statement is has to be put forth in such a tentative way for fear of triggering or causing offense that there is no simple statement, full stop. You know, there's always a, well, I'm going to say it, you know, my name is Oliver, you know, um, <laughs> you have to really try yeah, to, to do it. You have to, I, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't, and that's why they all think I'm strange, you know? It's just like, and I think they're fucking just as, as fucked up as fiddlers, bitches. I mean, it's just, it's essentially cowardly. It's the fear of, I mean, I, I'll make a declarative statement in confidence, even knowing that, like, some motherfucker might come along, much better versed in this subject matter, and set me straight. I mean, it's story of my life. I'm happy when it happens. <laughs> I mean, not too happy, but yeah, happy when it happens. But they just, they roll through. It's like, you know... Yeah, let's go see a movie. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't even do it. Yeah, so that's mine. Let me try it. Let me try. Hey, would you like to see a movie? Yes. Because then we could go to the mall and see that movie with Adam Sandler in it. <laughs> and because Adam Sandler is so funny. Oh my God. He did that one movie where he was like a Cuban, and I know, yeah, totally. <laughs> it's fucking insane. And then the policeman told me, you know. I actually can't <coughs> put it together. I have to try so hard. I can't, I can't even think through, like, what would they say? What would they say? What would they say? You know, like, because I'm trying to do that, that weird couple. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, haven't been suckled on the poison if poisonous tit of outrage for long enough combined with a sense of fear it's yeah anyway so that's just another one i i have many more but now sir it is your turn anything with women anything with society oh okay one of the things now that uh i am finding is sort of a uh a, a, a pisser is i think other people will see this Leave it in the comments, folks. Women who you are you seeing women in the millennial period hunting for sperm donors? Because I have now seen this because of the you the area I live in is small enough that I have now encountered something that I'm like, this is so weird this period of this woman's life where she's kind of jumping from boyfriend to boyfriend, but her age is this way or that way, you know, or, or her life is this way or that way, or, and then boom, like that. Somebody who is known about six months, key I kip, they, they, they're having a baby. And I, and I'm just sitting in the back and I'm like, holy fucking shit. You know, like the, 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 <laughs> they're, they're breeding. They're motherfucking breeding. They're just, they're just, they, it's like no, <clears throat> no thought about it. <clears throat> this isn't somebody who it's like three years. They they finally figured it out and planning it out. They, you know, it's like oh no, this person has gotten out of college with this person this long. Oh, P I P I K I K I K I P. You know, they're having they're having a kid. You know, and it's like and and I'm sitting back like thinking, wait a second. You were only in your field. You could have only been in your field for. I met you at this age. You were still in school, and and so I'm th I'm like, oh my fucking god! Like it's it, the cycle just continues. It just god damn it, you know. And, and uh, it, yeah. So the MGTOWs, I I, they are probably dancing around every time they see this. You know, they probably are sitting there watching life go by, going, shit. I knew it, you know, <laughs> right. But I think that there's, there's a, there's a certain amount of it that is, um, 
Like I've dodged enough of it myself, but I, I don't know, man, some part of me, you, you know, I have to wonder it's yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. It's straight out of the matrix. The fucking bullets go flying by. That was a 50 caliber that almost caught me. And her name was, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like fucking, you know, a women with daddy problems. I was talking to a friend about that and I was like, man, I thought it was the perfect thing for me. I was dating this chick who was 13 years younger. I was fucking gobsmacked in love, absolutely destroyed. You know, I'm like, I, but the, the leash connects here, honey. You know, if you want to clip it, I'm trying to tell you where to attach it, right? You are the best thing since fucking sliced bread. And um, the uh, the sad reality is that I can't remember what I'm talking about. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well the, the whole – then actually there's another one. Um, obviously this is about your dad. Yes, that, that was it. Yes. So, so hang on, let me get this thought out or I'm destroyed. Thank you. You just saved me from a fucking period of hellish shame. Um, so you think that it's the most wonderful thing in the world that's going to happen, that they kind of have daddy problems, that you're, you're younger. And I myself can speak for that. As I said, I'm like, attach the leash here. This is fucking wonderful. You know what? The, I don't understand why I hear so many people like laugh about older men who get with younger women over daddy problems. I'm like, it's the fucking best thing ever. Where, where is her dad? Because I'm going to grab him by his fucking face and I'm going to kiss him on both cheeks because I love her fucking daddy problems and I'm, I'm somehow a parallel for her dad where she's going to work it out and then it fucking dawned on me dude what happens when they hate their dad that's, that's what I fucking discovered that I was just this stand in proxy man like I finally like I woke up one day and it's, <laughs> and it's almost like her dad fucking winked at me he was like I'm glad you're there because you just saved me. You allowed me to karmically sidestep what I owed her for how I raised her. And you were just the rube. What do you call it? Uh, a fucking um, something ass buster? A sucker. Ass buster. <laughs> right. It's whatever you call it. I was one of those. I was like, raise your hand. <laughs> it's like, I'm a sucker. Yeah. Oh, boy. And and that's that actually, I got to admit, it, now there's so th this has come up enough in in like we're really like one part of a conversation and another piece and I'll snip these together and I'm like, so, so where the fuck did she even meet her dad? You know, like, because the more I'm piecing together this woman's life, da, 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 she liked socialism. She simply doesn't believe in any criticism of socialism. She, she's got this whole stack of problems fascinating hmm. it's sort of like hmm. there's like math to this hmm. let me think about this and and so more and more i'm i'm finding out like no there is something about the way the human mind develops and the necessity of of a man in when the child's life that is that to me i'm like no no this is this is the proven out the most proven out proof of child development and we now have a whole generation that this is more than obvious. You could just see it. This, the, 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 a generation that can't think orderly, you know, that just can't conceive of, the, of discipline. So that Jordan Peterson is now their dad. And so I've started to think about like that I'll have these conversations. I'm like, does this never come up among women that they all are saying something really negative about how all the men – do that thing with their manliness and their manhood and their being men all the time with that their penises and, and man and, spreading in their cargo shorts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so there we go. And then at some point they they put together they're like, oh, all of us hate our dads. You know, no, it is a single. I heard somebody say it. Maybe it was Stefan Molyneux or something. And he's often a little too Protestant for me even though he's post-Protestant, but still he does a lot of good work and he has a lot of good straight insights. And one of them is, I think it was him. It's just, it's a single mother generation, man. I'm yeah. like, that's, that's what you get. Like cut it loose and say that there is no need for the men there. You know, I mean, I get to hear it all the time online and, you know, and seeing people talk about how, you know, the black community has been destroyed by the single, uh, you know, motherhood. And I'm like, I'm in the fucking white community and I came straight out of that shit. And you know yep. what? It fucked me up too, man. Mm. It's just, it's, it's, it's a mess when those uh, patterns and um, standards aren't there. But once again, I think, I feel like there needs to be more hate. So I'm going to conjure a bit more. Do you have something? Oh yeah. 